Today I'm in Boston, where I used to live 25 years ago, so I thought I'd give you a pronunciation tip to do with Boston. But there's a little problem there. Now, if I were going through the towns around Boston, like Plymouth, Gloucester, Wellesley, Bill Ricca, then I'd have something to tell you about. But Boston has very few pronunciation challenges. Sorry, it, it just does. Once you know how to say Cambridge and Brookline, you're pretty much covered. Uh, and don't give me this whole crap about, oh, it's Harvard and it's, it's the Charles River. It's not. Okay, look, I know, I lived here. I heard the T driver, which is a subway driver, and I would get on a Park Street. We'd cross, we, we'd go to Charles Mass General, cross the river, get our Kenmore Square, Central Square, Harvard Square, Porter Square, and I would get off at Davis Square. That's great if you happen to be a local with the R dropping accent, but most, even most people who live here, their whole lives say Charles and Harvard. So, no. However, there are two places that you're gonna wanna know about. You'll almost certainly stop through, and as it happens, I'm at one of them right now. Quincy Market. Not Quincy, Quincy. And right facing it, behind all that blue crap there, is the historic Fanel Hall, not Fanuel, Fanoil, Fanuel, Fanel, rhymes with panel. So there you go, there's your Boston pronunciation tip. Now I'm gonna go get a beer.